Hello lovelies and welcome to the channel. So today I have an art journal video for you. Um, I actually did this last night so I have to apologise for the crappy lighting. There's always this shadow. I'm hoping to get some of those really big studio light type thingies so I can um, yeah, get rid of these shadows because I am a nocturnal crafter. doesn't matter how much time I have during the day. I do all of my crafting art. Uh, scrapbooking all of it at night um I guess I'm just a night owl but yeah you know I guess when you've got kids you find time where you can and night happens to be my most productive time as it was 10 30 last night I did like two pages in my art journal the mojo finally hit but yeah anyway enough about that um yes like I was saying um I have an art journal video today I just yesterday I just wanted to play in my art journal hubby was at soccer training the boys were in bed and I just wanted to get messy and arty. And man, did I get messy. Um, <laughs> I'll link to my Instagram because there's pictures on my Instagram of um, me just covered in paint after I did this journal page. So I'm starting with some... Um, oh, no, it's not gel medium. It's impasto. That's right. So recently I rediscovered some of my mediums that I have floating around my art room. And impasto was one of them. And I love using it as sort of like a resist. And basically, I've got my impasto and I've put it through a stencil and then I've dried it off. And then what I've done is I've come in with some Color Blast Artist inks. I love playing with these. They're just, they're so unpredictable when you just do what I've done and just squirt them onto the page. But it's a lot of fun. And I noticed when I mixed Calypso and Lime together, I got this really cool bluey color. It was really nice. So... I've just put that on my page and then what I've done is I've sprayed it with some water. Now I hate that overspray look I get. So I come back in with a wet paintbrush just to try and give it a bit more of a controlled mix. So basically I'm just putting colour down just to make a background on my page. The colours together mixed beautifully to make this third colour but I really did want some more of that vibrant green in. In the end I think it was too green but it's a background. It's just about getting colour on the page. So this is where I come in with a paintbrush just to try and give me some more controlled colour movement on my page when you squirt water with ink it's just going to go wherever it wants if you want to control that more a wet paintbrush is the way to go and this is my favorite it's a really big mop brush i think it's a size 26 it's one of my favorites so now i had as you can see the overspray went onto the other page so i wanted to try and contain the paint a little more now, when I was at Kmart the other day, I saw this, uh, this makeup applicator. It was like a dollar. It was on clearance. Now, I use makeup sponges um, when I use my paint. So, I thought I would give it a go. Uh, it's been a little hit and miss. It's, um, I think it's, a, that, that's what it is. It's a silicon makeup applicator. And um, I think you're supposed to use it for foundation, I think. This is it here. I thought I'd give it a go through a stencil. I actually like how it works through a stencil. It has given me a very grungy, rough sort of application of paint. Not a perfect impression, which I like in this case. So I thought, you know, it's not a total bust. I'll use it for this. Um, but yes, like I was saying, I'm not a makeup person. <laughs> I, I have makeup tools, but I don't use them for makeup. I use them in my art room, which my sister finds hilarious. But... Um, yeah, so I thought I'd give it a go. It was on clearance for a dollar and I thought, you know, as a, um, a reusable makeup applicator, I use makeup sponges for paint. I thought I might give it a go. But anyway, um, that's what that was. So I, yeah, I, I like how it worked through the stencil. To apply the paint in my border, it didn't work very well, but I do like how it worked through the stencil. So I will be keeping it for that use. So I did finish off my border with a paintbrush and then, um... I added a bit of water and did some splatters, which I really have to remember to be careful when I do now. I got covered in paint, which is not unusual, but I also have a tendency to get my wall <laughs> behind me. And uh, we are renting, so I have to make sure I wipe that off straight away. <laughs> but anyway, so now I want to focus on my focal image. So... I have a drawer literally full of bits and pieces. I have a collage drawer and then a drawer with magazine offcuts, um, pamphlets, all sorts of things that I have collected that I think I might use one day. Then I also have a massive pile of magazines that <laughs> is another whole other section. But I have a bunch of these little bits and pieces that I just go through randomly. If I haven't got 
anything in mind specifically that I want to do. If I'm just looking for something to fill it in, then I'll go through this drawer and get out my bits and pieces. Um, I did receive the new um, bigger back chat stickers from Di the Dilutions range and I knew I wanted to use those. So I thought um, if I had like a, an image, I could use those with it. So I went looking for one. And now as you can see, this image sort of cuts off at the bottom. And we know if you've watched my videos in the past, I absolutely hate floating figures. They have to be grounded to the top or the bottom or something. So it was bothering me. Uh, so I just, I wanted to make sort of like a grounding for her to sit on. I love the sassy look she's got going. And when you see the quote I choose, that's why I picked this picture. So, um... Because I wanted to ground it to the page in some way, I found an off cut um, from the piece that I actually cut this from. It's just a, a piece of book paper. And so I've scrunched it up, grunged it up a bit, and I've used some black gesso to just sort of, you know, make it look a little messy, give it a bit of colour and, you know, add it to my page. So that's all I've done there. And I've used that to sort of sit my girl on top of so it's giving her sort of like a base and then I've grounded that to the side of the page so I'm, I'm much happier with the way that looks and then I'm going to um, get my quote actually no I'm I use washi tape are you impressed I was impressed that I used washi tape just because I wanted to make this little grounding just you know look a little more I don't know something and I figured washi tape would work so then I'm going to add my quote and honestly that's pretty much it for my page. This was a very quick journal page. I just wanted to play with ink, make some mess, get paint on my hands and have, you know, have some me time and my art journal is how I do that. So I hope you have enjoyed the video and I will be back real soon with a new video. Um, I will try to get another one out over the weekend. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.